Hi, 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 hi. This is Bernie again from sunny San Diego uh, with our next episode of our Freedom Casts. So what we're showcasing today is how you can run Docker and Docker Compose on an Ansel. So what I've prepared here already is my Ant-Man. It's running on the host Aster. And I have my terminal window here. I'm using this terminal window this time. We could also use the integrated terminal, obviously. Um, we SSH into Aster. And um, what we're going to show is installing a system using Docker. And that system is called Moodle. And Moodle is a learning management system. So you can publish your own online courses and manage online courses, deliver them to your, to your students and things like that. And there is a pre-built Docker image for that. And um, what we actually did is we went to Bitnami and um, used the Bitnami Docker Moodle image that they have prepared. So, and we just um, created that. So it's in this directory. We downloaded um, the Docker images um, from, from Bitnami for Moodle. And we also downloaded the docker compose.yml file. And we made a few changes to that. Um, so you see that we use port 8090 um, for our test purposes to run Moodle on. And um, yeah, we also see that Docker is running um, on the Ansel. So Docker fully supports, uh, Ansel fully supports Docker. So it started. Um, what we uh, also see that Docker is fully integrated into Ansel. So it's using the ZFS file systems. So if you do a ZFS list on the Ansel, you see all our templates and antlets down here, and you see antlets underscore Docker. And in there, you have all the Docker images, Docker containers, stuff like that, each of them in their own ZFS file system. So that's actually really cool. Um, we have ZFS not only for, for our antlets, but we have ZFS also for Docker. So all we have to do now is do a docker compose up um, in order to um, start our Moodle learning management system. So um, it's going to do a few initializations. And um, after that, It says starting Moodle. So now I can just use a new browser tab and uh, go to aster.local colon 8090. So that's the port we assigned to our Moodle learning management system. And here we are. So that's our admin user and we can create our site and upload courses, um, all these kind of things. So that is cool stuff. It was quick and easy. And um, yeah, enjoy your Ansel. And if you liked our video, please remember to hit the like button in YouTube. Um, subscribe to our channel. Uh, tell your friends about it. Share it on social media and leave us nice comments. Thanks for now. Bye.